Good day everybody, so we are going to be racing our bicycles once again and it is going to be with the Cane Creek Cup. This one is going to take place at Mazeppa Park. It is known for having a lot of berms. If you enjoy this content, please let me know in the comments below, like and subscribe. Anything you guys wanna see, I'm willing to try it out, um, cycling related. And the race was a blast, as always. Uh, we are going to be doing my race first, and then once my event is out of the way, we will stick around and watch the Cat 2s go off. I didn't get to stay for the Cat 3s, but I do have something very weird to show you guys, so stick around. I will uh, in introduce it, I guess, um, right after my race. It's um, I need to do a whole video on it as long as I can figure it out, but anyway guys, stick around. But without further ado, we have to get to the uh, park in question. We'll see how this race goes. The first one, if you didn't see it, I'll leave a link somewhere. Now we can get to the race. I knew after the last event that any one of us had the fitness to win this. Uh, by any one of us, I mean like the top five guys from the last event. I, I needed a game plan. My game plan for this race, since I hadn't pre-rode it as much as I should have, I really just wanted to hit it hard from the get-go, use the skills that I do have, and make a fast first lap, but I definitely wanted to be the first one in the woods so I could at least get that first lap jitters out of the way at my pace instead of trying to keep up with these guys who, uh, they definitely kick my butt in the woods here. On your mark, get set, go! <laughs> So like I said, I tried to keep as steady of a pace as I could with my skill level. This was a pace that I could hold, I felt like, for 10 laps if I had to. It was fast, but it wasn't so fast that I was riding over my head. So right here, I think they called this like the GoPro row or something like that. This was one of the only other places that you could actually pass besides the start finish line. If you made a pass in the woods, this trail was so turny that you were you essentially had to like shut a door on someone to to be able to pass them in the woods. So here was great for passing, for getting water and the start finish line. How am I doing? Awesome. Very 
<laughs> so these laps were around five and a half miles ish. Mike here did an amazing job being the bottle boy. He even dressed appropriately. Get him, Brandon, get him! Tag your hit. And I, I did not really care if they came around me at this point. I mean, I did care if they wanted me to keep being in the lead. I would, whatever. I got that first lap out of the way. There was only five of us left after the first lap. At this point, I needed to really just figure out how to hang on and not burn any matches. Whenever Brandon got on the front and picked the pace up, I was riding over my head maybe by about 5%. Like, I was almost on their wheel, but I had to keep burning matches to stay on that wheel. Like, I would mess up, they would be riding clean, and I would have to pick the pace up to get back on and be in the game, to be in the race. Brandon? Here you go, Cameron. Y'all slow down. And you can tell a lot of the times, like, I was with them this entire lap, but I wasn't right on their wheel. So I, I figured out by this point the first half of the course, I don't know why, but I was worse at it than the second half of the course. Every time top three dudes would drop me a little bit, I can make it up on the back half. So my goal on this lap, this is the third lap here, I needed to be able to sit on at least until the GoPro row, the, the grassy knoll little area there. I was frustratingly close to doing that. Uh, they are just right there. Like, I could take my water bottle out and throw it and hit them in the back of the head. I was so close. But this is at the point where, since I, I was not getting on their wheel, I didn't give up. I never give up. But this is when I thought, okay, I gotta stop trying to chase them down and I need to ride my race. Hopefully, one of them will do a mess up and only take one bobble and you're back in. But I was going to just completely blow out the back if, if I tried to keep chasing. So at this point, I'm keeping it steady, and you can see them. There was a couple glimmers of hope. They just kept teasing me. Like, I would go into a turn, and I would be so close, they'd be coming out of the turn. Don't ride over my head, don't crash, don't blow up. Because obviously, they are hammering it in the woods faster than I can on this course. So coming into the fourth lap, uh, I was still frustratingly close. There they are. That's probably a good 30 second gap. Um, 30 seconds is a lot to bring back. That's water. Yeah, your legs, please. Pretty dog. I don't know why I say half the crap I say during a race. Like, I notice. A dog that looks like an Aussie and that's what whatever wait for me so here I caught Colin he was in a different category Bobby it was also in a different category who caught both of us so I was gonna let him by uh, Bobby's fast man go on the right good job man he ended up winning his category
So there you have it guys, that was my race. If I learned anything, it is that I really, really could benefit from some pre-riding of these, I don't know, bermier courses. Maybe this one was an extreme version of what I would consider a turning course, but that, that's something I definitely want to do. If it's a, a race that I can pre-ride a lot, I'm, I'm going to try it at the next one just to see how much better I can do. So my back was killing me. I've been battling this for maybe a year. My lower left back muscle can get inflamed and look so much bigger than the other one. Now, I had somebody who's way smarter than me tell me that it looked like my left butt cheek muscle wasn't necessarily firing as well and I need to do some foam rolling. I did that. I've worked on my core. If you would have seen me last January, I couldn't last 30 minutes on a mountain bike without my back killing me. Now I last an hour and a half, but this race really did it in for me. I did four laps. I was fine. And then all of a sudden, I know it was fatigue based. My back started going into overdrive and I couldn't pedal two seconds without my back screaming, cussing at me. I mean, it was so bad. If I had to do one more lap, I would have quit. Uh, legs were good. They were great. I could have kept pedaling, but I, I just didn't need my midsection for this. It was, it was really, really bad. I have an appointment with a physical therapist. I'm going to get it checked out. Um, let me show you a picture of what I'm talking about because a lot of people were like, oh, well, your back does hurt, you know, when you ride a mountain bike. Don't think the pictures will do it justice. This was two days after the event, and this is how inflamed that muscle was. Yeah, when I show most people this in person, they're like, holy crap, it looks like I got a tumor on my back. By any means, it's, it's not helping me on these 30 mile races. You know, if it was a short track race or an hour and a half and below, I'm perfect my back's killing me guys if I can get this figured out you know this is gonna be awesome I think for the next few race videos because hopefully we'll be able to see a progression here but I, I do want to at least do a full video on this if I can figure it out anyway let me know if you have any suggestions like I said next week I'm going to see a physical therapist I'll let you know what they say but that was my race I ended up fourth I am super happy with fourth place. You can't complain with that. You know, just barely missing the podium, even with my back issues. So, so I'll get at it. We'll do it next time. Yeah, let's move along to the category two. You guys good? On your mark, get set, go. Here we go, guys. Woo! All right, single spade. All right, on your mark. Get set, go! Alright, way two, way two! Oh. Good job, Jeff! Woo! Go Chandler! Good job Austin, that next group's not far. Go Chase! Good job Brad! Good job Chandler! Don't crash. Let's go, Jeff. Good job, Trey. Woo! Good job, Brad. You good? Keep digging, babe. Not right. Oh, dude. Good job, buddy. Woo! Oh, come on, Chase. Spin it. Oh, I think he got him. Hit it! I think you got top 10. Really? I think so. 
Yeah. See? Odd man out. Yeah. He's got he's got healthy nipples. Yeah. He leaned over further. Come on, Brad! How was it, Brad? Oh man, it was tough. I've never had that much arm pump in my I life. told you. Oh, my back's so sore, but. My back's killing I me fell. now. I failed. We were making fun of you because she was like, how you doing? And you go, no. <laughs> I know, but I'm like, I don't have time for a conversation. <laughs> well, on the fourth lap, I got in front of that guy. Did that get his... loose because of your? No, oh. opposite. It fixed it enough to shift. So on the fourth lap, I got in front of him and I was trying to hold the corners way fast so I could, because I, I think I got second out of the group. All right, thank you guys for supporting um, my love of making these videos and racing my bicycle. It's good to get out there and get some frustration out. I will, I will say that. Anyway, guys, see everyone in the next one. Bye-bye.